how long are you gonna wait to make your dreams happen? How long are you gonna wait? How much time are you gonna waste? Let's look at Pop Smoke life real quick. Pop Smoke died at what age? Like 20, 20 years old? And before he died, he was working hard in the studio. He was working hard building his brand. He was working hard, you feel me? He recorded all that music. So even though he died at a young age, he could still live on in our hearts and in the world as a legend because he worked hard, you feel me? The point of me bringing up Pop Smoke is RP to him, by the way. The point of me bringing up Pop Smoke is none of us know how much time we got left. So instead of wasting time, we need to chase our dreams. Like, we need to start now, like today, you feel me? Before I made this YouTube channel, before I really started releasing music and starting to get all my stuff, I didn't believe in myself. I procrastinated. I would say tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And you know what happens? Tomorrow becomes a week. A week becomes a month. A month becomes a year. One year become 5, 10, 15, 20 years. You feel me? Next thing you know, you're 30, 40, 50, 60 years old living in regret. Living in regret is one of the worst feelings ever. I know. Even though I'm young, I'll give you an example. 2019 and 2020, I regret those years. You know why? Because I was doing nothing but smoking weed, hanging out with so-called gangsters, trying to be a so-called gangster, doing all the wrong things. I messed up my leg. I messed up my life. I took my, I tore my own life apart. I had to freaking, when I tore my ACL through the habit of drifting and simply doing the wrong things, I had to move back in with my family. I'm getting my life back together. I gotta, I re, I bought a car again, you feel me? So I'm good on the car aspect, but I'm literally getting my life back together. I'm about to move to Dallas soon and I wouldn't have to start my life all over and live in regret if I would have been doing what I had to do in the first place. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys. So stop procrastinating. How much time I you gonna waste you gonna waste your whole life away we don't know when our time is gonna come you could go outside you could get hit by a truck uh, yeah that's that's very bleak but i'm trying to speak about reality to you guys i'm trying to tell you guys to believe in yourself it's the most cliche thing ever that you will always see in motivational videos but why do you think that is certain things are are cliche for a reason it's a reason why they say always believe in yourself you know why because when you start to believe in yourself your mind starts to find a roadmap to your success I'm gonna give another example because of what I just explained. So whenever you say, oh, I can't, let's just make up an imaginary scenario. Let's say I wanna buy a house in North Carolina. So if I think in my head, oh, I can never do this. I'm never gonna do it. It's certain. It's for 100% certainty that I will never do it because I can't, I don't even believe it. But if I say, how can I do it? I start to find a map. Oh, maybe I need to work this job. Maybe I need to get this need to get this skill if I could get this this position if I can make 100k a year, 200k a year, 50k a year, however much money, you feel me? Maybe I need to grow this YouTube channel if I can make a certain amount of money years from now and one day I I can buy this house. It's not going to happen overnight. The point is that when you believe in yourself, you start to find the steps and the roadmap to your success. When you don't know where you're going, another cliche quote, when you don't know where you're going, all roads lead there. So you got to have a clear goal too. My clear goal is I want to motivate a million people in real life. I want to motivate a million people to chase their dreams, to believe in themselves, to make them dreams, make those dreams happen. I'm not going to stop till I at least accomplish this through this YouTube channel, through my other um, freaking channels on um, Instagram, TikTok. But a million people, I'm going to inspire y'all somewhere, some way. I'm going to do it. I don't care about nothing. I don't care about imposter syndrome. I don't care about my haters. Yeah, I got haters. I got people that watch my story every day. Don't like nothing I post. I'll be posting my rap videos, my motivational content pictures. They've been following me for five years, six years, four years, three years. They don't like nothing. Those are haters. Those are modern day haters. I got haters. I got people that, that simply just counted me out when I tore my ACL. People that tried to make it seem like I was a broke N word, you feel me? I don't care about none of that. I'm going to accomplish my dreams regardless. That's the type of timing that I want y'all to be on. This is a very cliche video, but somebody out here need this video. Somebody out here need this motivation. This motivation for you. Get off your ass every single day. Get to work. You could do it. It's the most cliche thing ever, but you could truly do it. Whatever you see up here becomes a reality. Everything that we have in this world, a TV, freaking um, this deep freezer right here, it all started in the minds of man. It was in, the, in imagination before it became a reality. Somebody brought that to their reality from their mind. 
People underestimate the power of the mindset. Changing your mindset will change your whole reality. Like right now, I got a few thousand in the bank. I got like like seven thousand in the bank. Honest, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is the most money I ever had in my life. Like in the bank. This is separate from my bills money. You feel me? And seven thousand dollars is not a lot of money. The point is, I changed my mindset to get here. I was working two jobs. Now I only got one. And I do Uber on the side, so I guess I still got two jobs, but point is, I changed my mentality. Instead of being like, oh, I'm going to be a hood nigga, and I'm going to do this, that, and the third. Try to prove myself to niggas that don't even really care about me or care about anything that I do. They just wanted to leech off me if I truly become successful, you feel me? Trying to prove myself and do all this dumb stuff. Instead... I changed my mentality. I was able to work those two jobs, save money. I stopped smoking weed. It took me years to stop smoking weed, but I stopped smoking weed. Changing my mentality, you feel me? Changing your mentality will change your whole reality, I promise you. It starts with your mind. It starts with your mindset. What goals do you have? Who do you want to be in life? Do you want to be the person at 30, 40, 50 years old living in regret, blaming everybody else for why their life suck? I know people like that. I got family like that. I got a cousin in New York. He's 30 years old living with his mom, and I'm not judging him. But every time I talk to him just about life, I don't even be trying to be in his business. But I talk to him about life. He always blames somebody else, blaming everybody else but himself for why he's not where he want to be. You feel me? This is why I'm here for you guys. I'm here to motivate you guys and tell you guys, you don't want to live like that. I already lived like that, and it didn't lead me to nowhere. It took me, it led me to tear my ACL. It led me to losing my crib in New York and having to move back in with my family. You feel me? That junk embarrassing. You want to go through that? No, you don't. You want to have your own crib, own car. If you a man on this, if you a man watching this, you want to have your own crib, your own car. You want to look good. You want females to to think you look good. You want females to be on you, you feel me? How are you going to do that living with your mom? How are you going to do that not believing in yourself? How are you going to do that not being in your per- on your purpose? First of all, if while I'm talking about men, a lot of men, we be having our priorities messed up. A lot of men, they want to chase women. They want to do everything but get their life together. How you want to tell a woman what to do when you don't even have your own four walls? You feel me? This is why I'm not dating right now because I realize I don't even have my own crib no more. Yeah, I got a car, but forget that. I'm an adult. I need a car and a crib. Bare minimum to be really dating in the dating market right now. I'm just trying to speak this reality to you guys. Like, I had a brain fart real quick, but I'm just trying to really motivate you guys. You got to really get to work. You got to really stay persistent through difficulties. Like my boy DC Young Fly said, persistent through difficulties. Persistent while everybody else talking. All that cap, all that talking, you feel me? Everybody else watching. Move like a stoic, you feel me? Move like the man. Become the man in real life by putting in the work. If you're watching this, I want you to believe in yourself. Be disciplined enough to make your dreams happen. Create a plan. Make that plan happen. You feel me? This video right here is a part of my plan. Motivating you guys. I'm not posting a video once a week. How am I going to hit a million subscribers, 100K subscribers, 50K subscribers, posting one video a week? No, I'm posting every day. Every single day I'm posting, you feel me? Because I really want my dreams to happen. So I'm grinding for it. I'm not wasting no time. I'm about to end this video because I'm just rambling to you guys, trying to motivate you guys. But look, if I want you to take anything from this video, I want you to take these things. I want you to believe in yourself. Create a plan. Put your plan into action and put your be disciplined enough to accomplish your dreams, to really go for your dreams every single day. This is an everyday grind. This grind do not stop. Even once I hit 50K, once I hit 100K or a million, I'm probably not going to stop. I know I'm not going to stop because I'm relentless. Speaking of relentless, read the book Relentless. It's a great book. But point is... I'm relentless. I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to motivate more people. I'm going to keep on going. You know why? Because I'm relentless and I'm going to chase all my dreams and make my dreams happen tenfold. You feel me? I'm going to inspire these people. I'm going to help bring some positivity into the world. I'm speaking into existence right now, but it all starts with me. It starts with my mentality. It starts with the choices that I'm making now. The choices you make in the present dictates your future. Write that down. You feel me? If you write down anything I say, the choices you make now, the things you do now dictates your future. I promise. So peace, you guys. I want you to just just believe in yourself. I just just believe in yourself. I'm in this video right here. I'm not going to be weird. Just believe in yourself, y'all. Peace.